Hey guys, welcome back to Cloudfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about manga and anime and the comic book industry and Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer has sold over 20 million copies this fiscal year alone. We're going to talk about why manga and anime is suddenly so important now and why it might be a good target for people wanting to use that platform for nefarious purposes or for their own uh, personal messaging, why we're seeing an attack on anime, an attempt to censor anime, to tame anime and manga, because it's incredibly important. This is what's next. Uh, this is what's next as the mainstream comic book industry, North American comic book industry dies, manga is actually on an upswing. And we're going to talk about that. So please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 100,000 subs. Appreciate the support. Absolutely. Um, this is coming from comicbook.com. We're going to talk about Demon Slayer. But I want to point out that for the last year or so now, uh, you know, a lot of news outlets have been talking about how manga is, is on the rise. And, you know, I look at even with uh, my own kids. They don't read superhero comics right if they read comics it's manga my daughter especially loves manga she loves my hero academia uh, and some other titles um fruits basket you know she she loves manga and anime and that's what the kids today are reading instead of going to the local 7-eleven and picking up you know x-men because honestly at this point you know it's uh comics are hard to find and they're very expensive comic shops are closing you know i'm not saying kids wouldn't buy the stuff if they had access to it i think they absolutely would but manga is easier to get a hold of it's cheaper you know it's printed in black and white you get a lot you get a lot of bang for your buck you know for 10 bucks you get you know like 10 comic books worth of, of content you know american comics worth of content and there's a much larger uh, selection of you know kinds of stories i mean manga covers everything everything and uh you know it as such since it's it's become such a big deal in the u.s it has become a target because we know how this works right we know that that uh the media that uh hollywood that publishers that uh, individual creators you know they love a platform that's pre-existing and they love to get their meat hooks into it right uh so that's what's going to happen and uh, we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more attacks on anime and manga, I think. More attempts at, at censorship as this continues. You know, there were concerns the other day about Viz hiring someone who's been uh, pretty cool with, with censoring uh, anime and manga and, uh, you know, localizing it to suit uh, current sensibilities. Uh, and again, I don't know if this guy is, is going to have any sway or, or what, but um, this does seem to be a very current year that people want to tame their tame their anime but let's talk about this demon slayer 20 million 20 million copies okay you know what the highest selling american comic book is i think it's jim lee's x-men number one and it sold 8 million copies back in the early 90s when when superhero comics were huge 20 million copies just this year so if you're a fan of Demon Slayer, you should know that you're not the only one loving the series. Thanks to the series anime, the series has become hugely successful both on print and on screen. During the last fiscal year, Demon Slayer managed to rack up enough sales to dethrone One Piece. Okay, One Piece at this point was like the top seller. Uh, Demon Slayer managed to rack up enough sales to dethrone One Piece. And thanks to a recent update, fans have learned Demon Slayer is poised to give the Straw Hats a run for it this year as well. So Weekly Shonen Jump manga give, gave fans a small heads up about the Demon Slayer sales. The user shared the top selling weekly series from the start of March, and you can guess who came at first. Demon Slayer crushed the competition. And Weekly Shonen Jump made sure to note how the series is faring overall this fiscal year. Uh, so Kimetsu no Yaba, uh, Yaiba, which is the Japanese name of Demon Slayer, reaches 29 29 million wait is that right 29 million 743,955 copies with this week and the whole 2020 ranking being uh, 8 million copies away from beating one piece's record in 2011 with 10 weeks left until half year oricon ranking record could be beaten in that same ranking so demon slayer is beating my hero academia and the promised neverland uh it's doing really really well chainsaw man 
As you can see, Demon Slayer has experienced some serious success just in the last few months. It's on track to overcome a record which One Piece set nearly a decade ago in 2011. Yeah, it was huge for One Piece. Uh, One Piece is, is one of the highest selling, it might actually be the highest selling manga series out there. For years now, the swashbuckling series had reigned supreme when it comes to sales, but Demon Slayer has cut into large, a large portion of its readers. That's not even accounting for digital sales of Demon Slayer or the worldwide distribution, which has captivated fans around the globe. Uh, Viz Media, Viz Media is bringing out the series in print. Crunchyroll is streaming the anime. This is why people are concerned when you've got people who are like, "Yeah, let's uh, change things. Let's change things. Let's change the translation to be more, more uh, current year." For American audiences. That's why people are concerned because it has a huge, huge, huge influence on pop culture right now. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen manga be this popular in America since like the early 2000s. It's actually really good to see. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy how successful just in the last two or three years. And I think, you know, it has been in response to partially, partially to people rejecting a lot of North American entertainment. But again, now we're getting the same people who sort of co-opted North American entertainment and injected it with politics, migrating over to the uh, manga and anime scene. You know, in my opinion, that's an opinion I have. A lot of people share that same opinion. So we'll see what happens. I mean, as, as manga and anime become more and more important to Hollywood, more and more important to uh, the animation scene. It's, it's hugely important to the streaming wars. Uh, you can absolutely expect people to try to commandeer the platform. Absolutely. But just compare and contrast with American comics. You know, the American comic book market is not in a good place right now. I mean, look at this. Uh, you know, the comic sales are effectively dead at this point. Uh, comic shops are closing at a shocking rate. There's talk about AT&T possibly pulling the plug on DC Comics as a publisher, maybe outsourcing its comics production to people who want to take a chance on producing comics in this market. Yeah, it's pretty dire. And even with, um, you know, even Star Wars, you know, Marvel, to, to get sales, they relaunched Star Wars, Star Wars number one, and it, it did under 100,000 copies. A few years ago, Star Wars number one did over a million copies, but but it was included in Loot Crate, and there's a lot of fudging of the numbers. I mean, you're, you're seeing American comics clutter the Ollie's discount bargain outlets all over the country. You know, they can't give graphic novels away. I saw the new Ollie's flyer this week, and they had uh, Todd Nahisi Coates uh, Black Panther graphic novels for two bucks each. Big spread, like, oh, we got pallets full of a Black Panther comics for two bucks, you know, you're not going to find a lot of manga at Ollie's. I think, I think most of it, uh, most of it is getting scooped up. Now we do have a discount, uh, discount bookstore. I think it's called Bradley's. Uh, we've got a bunch of Bradley's around here in the Pittsburgh area and they do have a bunch of manga, but a lot of it comes from Tokyo pop. It's like a Tokyo pop buyout. Now I'm hoping, I'm hoping because of the popularity in manga and anime, because everything's on the upswing again, that we don't see the market being oversaturated like it was in the 2000s. And that's kind of what, you know, partially led to uh, Tokyo Pop taking a hit. And they're, they're back now. They're publishing stuff now. They're publishing Disney manga uh, and a few other things right now. But, but Tokyo Pop, there was a lot of manga, a lot of uh, American produced, Amera manga or whatever they're calling it uh, back then. And it, uh, it definitely saturated the market. And uh, then we had a couple notable bookstore chains go out of business and and they weren't paying Tokyo Pop and and just everything kind of snowballed. And that was kind of what killed off manga here in the States the first time. And it's taken about 10, 12 years to come back, but I'm happy to see that it's coming back. I mean, I don't buy a lot of digital comics, but I freaking love the Shonen Jump app. I, I, I find myself, if I'm going to read something, you know, if I've got a couple minutes here and there, I usually bust out the iPad and read some Dr. Slump or uh, read, uh, you know, Promise Neverland. I've been reading that and uh, I, I like it. I like it quite a bit. It's like $1.99 a month. I think we did a review on it last year. It's definitely worth worth getting, but this is a good sign. You know, again, comics, the mainstream comic book industry, North American comic book industry, Marvel DC, it is on the decline, but there's always going to be a market for comics. Uh, I just hope that they don't kill it off here in the U.S., with censorship, with politics, with a lot of craziness that we've seen in other industries. Gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.
Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.